Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Victoria Teresco, the account manager in the Atlantic region. And I'm Hannah Monson, the account manager in the South Atlantic region. And for our third installment of our vlog, we're gonna talk about reading goals. So reading goals are a great thing to set at the beginning of the year, but we also wanna make sure that we have the motivation to keep them up throughout the year and help our students stay motivated as well. So there are different types of reading goals you can set. You could set the number of books you read or the amount of time you spend reading. We know how important it is for students to read 15 minutes a day. So even just saying, I'll read five more minutes a day could make a really big difference. You can also diversify the type of content you're reading. So Victoria, I know this year you are focusing on nonfiction. Yes. Uh, last year, I focused on YA romance, and this year, I'm focusing on professional development type titles. Uh, currently, I'm reading Work It. <laughs> and last year, I made an effort to read more diversely, so I tried to read books that were based in or from countries other than the U.S. So how do we track these goals? You can do this in Sora. You can do it under the Me tab. Students can do this independently of teachers. So the amount of time you've read, amount of time you've spent per book, or you can track it underneath the Activity tab. This is a great way to keep your students motivated throughout the year, especially over summer when they won't be seeing you for updates regularly, being able to keep that motivation themselves. Speaking of motivation, how do we stay motivated to keep our goals? <laughs> well, of course, as I just said, being able to track it is really important. There's nothing like setting a goal and then not knowing where it went. <laughs> but also, one of my favorite ways is through curation. This is a really simple and free way to show your students new content. If I'm a student, I log into Sora, and the first thing I see are Summer Reading Books 2018. I know that it's outdated, it hasn't been kept up, and I might even think that you haven't added any new books since then. But if I log in today and see that you have a Celebrate Black History Month, mm -hmm. along with Angie Thomas's new book, this is a great way to keep me excited about reading, see what's new, and to maybe help me branch out about what I'm reading. I might have logged in looking for a fantasy, but if I see an interesting mystery on the homepage, mm -hmm. I might be able to diversify a little bit in my um, own personal reading goals. And don't forget, we do have on-staff librarians here at Overdrive who are more than happy to help you curate or even do it for you. So uh, please reach out to us directly and we're happy to set that up. We're currently in the middle of our School Stars promotion mm -hmm. and those entries are a great way to show us how you're encouraging your students to keep their reading goals, whether that's through motivation or through rewards. And if you don't know what we're talking about when we say school stars, check out last week's uh, vlog post because we talk all about it. <laughs> so we're excited to hear what your goals are, what your students' goals are, and how you're staying motivated to keep reading all of 2019. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.